Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all having a really good day, feeling good. I am feeling excited, thank you for asking. Today, as you can tell from the title, we have a Timu haul. I've jumped on the bandwagon, I may be late to the party, but better late than never, I'm fashionably late. I'm here, I have some stuff from Timu, I'm gonna give you a little haul, give you a little review of some of the things I've tried. It's gonna be super, super fun, I'm super, super excited. I've also got a little link and a code for you so you can get up to £100 in Timu vouchers. I will leave all the information for that down below. There's a code and my link, and if you use that, yeah, like I said, I'm just repeating myself. You can save up to £100 in Timu, you can get free delivery, everything is super affordable, it is super fun. Um, and I'm going to show you what I've got. We're looking very white today in this background, but I wanted the focus to be on the items. And also, I wore this outfit the other day with my Uggs and a little Ugg bag, and it looked super cute. But obviously, I'm not going to have the bag and the shoes in the video, so it looks a little bit different. But we've got my little ghosts, add a little pop of not even colour, but it's a nice plain background for all the items, which we're going to get into now. Um, we'll start off with this because this is a massive pop of colour. I've put it on the floor, but these are going to add a pop of colour, which is what we need. Hello, Jacquemus Jeep. Oh my goodness me, I couldn't believe I found this. Look at this. I think this was about £8, I want to say. I'd say, if I was to guess, I'd say about £8 to £10. I'll leave all the prices and everything in the description box down in case you're curious. Oh my goodness me, look at how cute. Have I bought this in the middle of autumn? Yes, I have, but I literally just can't wait for this for summer. Look at how cute. The writing and everything is correct as well. You know, sometimes the writing can be incorrect. Absolutely not. She is spelled correctly. G-A-C-Q-U-E-M-U-S. Absolutely love it. It's got that frayed edge. It literally looks perfect. They had so many different colours. Another one of which being this one, because I couldn't pick, so I got both. This one, I love as well. I think I actually prefer this one, which is a bit weird for me, because we all know I'm a neutrals girl, but I just love pink and orange. Imagine this with a tan, can't wait. Um, and then, this one is like beige, and it says like Jacquemus Soleil in like different writing. Again, we pass the spelling test B, the spelling and everything is correct. Frayed edging again, absolutely adorable. And they do also have like the plain ones as well, like the plain colours, like black and beige and khaki, which I feel like you could definitely get away with a little bit more. Like these are definitely a bit more summery, I'm not gonna lie, but you could definitely like the plain ones. I've seen people style them with trench coats and stuff in the autumn, looks amazing. So you could make them work for autumn winter, but are you kidding me? How have I managed to find this? I was chuffed when I found these. Oh yeah, and then also on the inside, they've got a label like that as well on both of them. Again, correct spelling literally looks so good. What a start. We are off to a winning start. Uh, next up, I don't know where to go. I want to show you everything all at once. Okay, we'll go with this next up. Hello, Dyson Era dupe. Not everything I got is a dupe, but dupe. Why did I say it like that? Not everything I got is a dupe, but I just need to show you this because I am so excited about this. I have been wanting to try the real deal for absolute ages, but do I want to part with £500 plus? Not particularly. This, not sure how much she was, can't remember. Like I said, it'll be down below anyway. I am so excited to try this. I'm gonna test this out in a weekly vlog um, because I haven't tried it yet and I thought that would be a good thing to do to like try it out on camera. So go and watch my weekly vlog if you wanna see me trying out. They do this in a few different colors as well. This feels like a little chocolate selection box at Christmas. I've got my Snickers and my Mars bar and my pack of Maltesers. Um, it looks like it's packaged like that, but this is her. So like this is the base. This feels really well made actually. It doesn't feel cheap or anything. So this is the base and then it comes with the little hair dryer attachment. Oh my God, I can't wait to try this. Mm, that is gonna be amazing. Um, we've got like a, a comb attachment thingy. And then we've got another, like a round brush thing. My curtain bangs are gonna eat this up. I'm gonna love this. And then you get two different um, like barrel things. Can't get them out, bear with. Two different barrel things one's a little bit shorter and fatter and one's a little bit thinner i cannot tell you the excitement i have to try this it is also a uk plug as well just want to add that in because sometimes um they aren't always uk plugs for these dupes but this one is which is perfect it says it's a five in one hot air styler but they do have on the side um various different plugs so if you're from like different countries like europe which isn't a country i know but you know what i mean like different plugs um they have got different plugs as well so you can kind of get the one to obviously work for you and for what you need which is so exciting i'm literally so excited about that um next up who are we going with next we'll go with you next ah! how cute is this are you joking me and are you going to be replacing my little ghosty when it comes to christmas potentially because this is adorable it's like a little gingerbread house plush little teddy thing they also had um like a christmas tree they had a few other ones and they also do like the pan of chocolates and if you know you know they do like loads of them like that this I just couldn't resist though. I've seen this little guy a few times, always been drawn to him. Finally I have him. So flippant, oh my God. Okay, he's fallen. 
Oh my god, look at how cute that is. That, you cannot tell me, that, that is not adorable. That is just so flipping cute. I love gingerbread house theme at Christmas as well because it's like neutral, it's like beigey coloured. So now I have him and you can have him too as well if you want him because I will link him down below. Next up, I got a pair of these. I am, well actually, technically two pairs. I am so excited about these. I don't know if anybody's seen these on TikTok. The little socks that have little eyes on and then they hold hands. Is that not the cutest thing ever? So... You basically like, you're meant to wear them with like your boyfriend or your best friend or anyone who you may want to wear these with. You both wear them and then the little arms have, okay, not that side, let me do it. The little arms, oh no, there we go. The little arms have magnets in. So when you walk next to each other, they hold hands. How cute is this? So unnecessary, but like the cutest socks I've ever seen. Um, so that's what the individual sock looks like. So they've got these little eyes on and they have the little hands dangling down. That is actually adorable. This is such a good idea as well for like a stocking stuffer for someone at Christmas. Like these I think were literally like one to two pound. You can get free delivery on Timu as well. Free returns up to 90 days. I've just hit myself in the face with that sock. And they're just such a nice little present. And these came like, you got two pairs in one, if that makes sense. Like you didn't have to buy two sets. Does that make sense? And then they just hold hands together. How cute is that? This is potentially the cutest thing I've ever seen. And also, if you don't have someone you want to wear these with, you could just link them together, you know, put this on your left foot, this on your right foot and link them together. How cute. And also, they just feel like really nice socks as well. They don't feel really cheap and stuff. They just feel like a good pair of white socks. They're also absolutely flipping adorable. Very random, but I'm a big fan. Uh, next up, we will go... Hmm, we will go with this next because this I am so happy with. This is an active stylus pen. And I have had one of these before. And then I tried this one. And oh my God, this knocks, knocks the ball out of the park. Is that the saying? Knocks... I think that's the saying knocks the ball out the park that doesn't really sound quite right but this compared to the one i had before is absolutely rubbish i've given it to josh because i'm like i actually don't want that in my life anymore now that i've got this one this is so flipping good i have wanted a pen for my ipad for ages but my ipad is a little bit too old to actually work with the real pen does that make sense because it has to be like bluetooth this however works perfectly all i did i literally to try it out i took it out the um case this is what it looks like and then I pressed the on button here and I didn't even connect anything. I didn't do any Bluetooth or anything. I just tried it with my phone and it worked straight away. Literally as easy as that. It comes with um, a little charging lead. And the best bit about this is, like the real one, I'm just going to show it to you. You can lean on your iPad. I mean, I've got my phone here because my iPad's not on charge. So this doesn't show it to the best of its ability. But with other dupes of this pen, you can't lean on the iPad at the same time because it like thinks that your hand is, do you know what I mean? Whereas this, somehow this is so genius, I can lean on my like phone and write and it doesn't like pick it up. It's not working on my phone because I've just seen here it says for iPad Air 4th, for iPad Pro 11 inch, for iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Uh, so it worked on my iPad, I just haven't tried it, but just not on my phone. But honestly, I'm kind of gutted my iPad isn't charged up now so I can't show you it because this is so, so good. Like honestly, this pen is incredible. Like I just can't get over it. Now I want to write everything on my iPad. I kind of wish I was going back to school so I could take notes on my iPad because this just makes it so fun. And it's literally a fraction of the price of the real one, like a massive fraction, but looks the exact same. Absolutely genius. Next up, I have a little bag here of some random goodies. So we'll dig into this bag. Um, I got one of these, which is super exciting. Um, looks really random, but these are like hair, like heatless overnight curler things for your hair. They do a few different colours and you can buy like as many as you want. They come like individually, but you can have like two, three, four, however many kind of ones you want. And it's basically like the overnight heatless curler rod things, but these are better if you've got layered hair like me, if you've got like curtain bangs and stuff. So it's like a little rod, um, which has a little popper sort of thing. So you roll your hair up in it and then you like do this and then clip the little popper and then it even comes with like a little bonnet, little cap thing that's like silky. So then you can put it over the top to keep it in place and sleep with it. These are so good. I've seen people use them on TikTok. I haven't actually tried this yet, but I'm really excited too because if I can have my curtain bangs looking nice as soon as I wake up and I don't have to style them and apply heat on them, these are literally gonna be genius. And I think this was literally about a pound, maybe less than, and it's also really soft. Because I know sometimes these can feel really like sturdy and not very comfy to sleep in. This is so soft and squishy that you could have it in your head and sleep easily. It's not going to feel like a massive brick in the head. Do you know what I mean? And then also in my little bag of goodies, I've got this. 
this genius can't believe i've not thought of this before this is a little makeup no this is a little like jewelry box for going on holiday again they do a few different colors obviously i got like a creamy beige though um and it's like nice and small about the size of the palm and then it opens up and this is so good inside because it's got so many different compartments so you've got these little hanging things so you could hang like um earrings you know like dangly earrings it's got like a little um elasticated pouch there that you could put like stud earrings got little sections here for necklaces and bracelets and it's even got like a ring section how genius is this so you can fit all this in there because when i go on holiday and i'm bringing jewelry i just chuck it in like one of those little drawstring bags and then all the necklaces get tangled and stuff and i often forget about it whereas this jewelry can all be in one place organized nice and neatly things aren't going to get tangled or lost they're all going to like be in their own little compartment nice and small perfect to just you know slot in the suitcase genius how have i gone 22 years of my life without one of these someone tell me and then i also one last thing for this little bag we'll come back to her in a second i also got this little lip mask i haven't actually opened it yet but this looks so cute i'm so excited to try this this is like a little honey pot it's giving me like winnie the pooh vibes it's so flipping cute oh my god it's even cuter in person oh, even cuter than i was expecting so it's this little lip mask it's like a honey lip mask which is like in a little honey pot looks like this is that not adorable and then in the lid you open up oh, sorry but that is just that is adorable you open up the little lid there's a little like you know the little honey pot stirrers you get it looks like one of them like the attention to detail look at that a little honey pot stirrer but you then put it in the lip balm to like apply it on your lips so you're not getting like especially with me with this nail on is that going to work jabbing it in that lip balm no it's just going to ruin it so this means you just like screw the little lid off it doesn't really have a smell to it i thought it was going to smell of honey but i can't smell anything but it's got like this little lip mask and then you dip that in and apply it on your lips how adorable and also perfect for traveling and like taking out with you the fact that this stores in the lid because then you don't have to worry about losing it it's even got like a little like thing that holds it in place so it's going to be like nice and secure it doesn't like rattle around that is genius how flipping cute is that um next up i have a shoe box i thought i would give these a try fuel i thought it'd be rude for me to not do a little bit of fashion items as well to really test it out and see what timo is like so i got these Ta-da! I found some Ugg dupes from Timu. How nice. These are like the kind of antelope grey sort of colour. They are super, super warm and fluffy. There's no like branding on the back or anything, but I quite like that. Like sometimes you can have branding on the back that like makes it more noticeable that it's not the real deal. Do you know what I mean? Whereas these, pretty perfect. They've been made really, really nicely. This is what the bottom looks like. I got these in a size 38, which is a UK 5, and I'm normally like a four to five but i normally get a five in uggs just because um of like all the padding and stuff inside and these fit perfectly so i'd say basically stay true to size or maybe size up one size if you're between sizes but look at how good they did these again in a few colors but i'm really really loving this kind of like gray khaki color at the moment and then next up um i got a little bit of a rant well it's not actually a random item um your girl picked up a massage gun never thought i'd be buying one of these but also never thought i would be running a marathon uh, but i am so i thought this would be perfect because when i can come back from my runs i can oh i haven't actually looked at this yet but this is looking fancy say myofascial physiotherapy device with a user manual here oh we've got oh wow this is very uh impressive oh my god it's even got like um like what you should use it on like what parts of your body that is so good i was not expecting that i don't really know to be honest i was expecting i would just pick the gun up and apply it to my leg and hope for the best but actually having instructions of like where to use it and what to use for what is genius but yeah i just thought coming back from a long run after i'm like doing my marathon training oh my god i've turned it on by accident wow this looks fancy oh my god look at this that is giving a little bit of bouge that's how um the back i feel like i'm rambling should we hurry this haul up a little bit sorry um charging lead and then we have various different things we've got like this looks like a microphone but it says that this is for large muscle groups and then you've got like this little like rugby goal post thing that says it's for vertebrae a small round head for joints and then a small flat head for all parts of the body that is so good tells you what to do how to use it plenty of instructions and then i'm just thinking i can just you know go at my leg with this boom 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 after i come back from a run and just really massage all my muscles and joints and stuff 
after I've put myself through the London Marathon. How perfect. I thought that was actually genius. And these are normally really expensive as well, um, which is why I haven't bought one. Like I've been thinking of getting one for a while, but just didn't really, didn't know how much I'd use it and stuff. So didn't want to spend loads of money on it. But from Timu, we all know she's a bargain. So that is perfect. Then I got something for the house, a little bit of homeware. These are so flipping cute. I've already had to have a look at these because I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. But also, can we just take a second to appreciate I was gonna say appreciate the packaging. I mean, she's not that aesthetic, but this has been packaged up so well. Like it's so secure. So it's like this polystyrene. And then I had to like cut this bit out to be able to get to, um, to like, get to the products, but it has been packaged up honestly so well. And then in here are these two little plates, which are so cute. They're these little like bread shaped plates that say good day on them. And like the good day, is like 3d kind of like embossed i don't know if you can see that and then they're in the little shape of a toast and they've got like they're like a white plate just with that little brown border which is so me the aesthetics of these i cannot wait when i've moved out to have my toast my little sourdough toast on this imagine like little um avocado on toast on these like really cute breakfast plates i got two of them the other one's in here and they've like put a little layer of like protective to keep them safe which is so good like i was a little bit worried these might turn up broken but they have literally been packaged up so well like look at how thick that is and how cute are they they had so many nice like mugs and homeware bits as well if you're moving out or if you want to like redo your kitchen these would be perfect because you could literally get so much for such a good price and then i also got this which is so random but it's a little plastic um like container and then there's a little hole here and in this container we go is like a little um let me see if i can get into it actually it's a little like spout i think you would call it so it looks like this you take the lid off like oh my god it's very securely done on you take the lid off oh my god do you oh that was easy i was just pulling it the wrong way you take the lid off and then in here little spout which i will screw on so it looks like that basically you can obviously put loads of different drinks in this but i was thinking of just putting water in this and keeping it in the fridge because then i've got nice cold fridge water because at my house here i don't have like a well actually i do have a water dispenser in the fridge but it's just such an effort to like refill it because you have to like bring a cup put it in go to the sink put up a cup, fill it in, resist, turn the tap on, put it in the fridge, nice ice cold water, because at my other house in Cornwall, we have one of the American fridge freezer, like water dispenser things, and the ice cold water from that crisp, nice water is delicious, and I just miss it, so I thought this is a perfect alternative to a really expensive fridge, just put this in there, and then you've got nice cold water, or squash, you could even put like, um, you put any drink in here really um, and you're just going to keep it nice and cold but it also doesn't take it's not too big I think this is 3.5 litres so it's not going to like take up the whole fridge which my family will appreciate then I got these I am so excited about these this is the little wireless microphone and it all looks so professional slips out like that right and then you get like this um, which you put into like the bottom of your phone so it connects um, you've got a little charging lead here and then the little microphone are you joking me? I feel like I'm gonna feel so professional. Like, hello, Georgie Clark here for BBC Five News. Good evening, breaking news this evening. I'm gonna feel like that. And it's got like a little clip thing, so you can like clip it on here. I mean, that looks ridiculous, but you know what I mean. You can clip it on better. And it's like a little microphone, and I see people use these on their TikToks, and I feel like they look so professional and so fun. And I don't know why I'm talking into it now, because it's not connected, but this is what people do, and it seems so fun. So I picked one of these up. This was so inexpensive, and I thought like this could be quite handy for like come shop with me as well, like videos where I'm out and about, and like background audio is so loud that I need this so you can like hear my voice better. How perfect. I feel professional as well. And then I did actually pick up, this is the last electrical item. I did get a lot of electricals actually, didn't I? But I really wanted to test them out. So I'll let you know how I got on with them. Um, I got a little electric iron. This is genius for going on holiday. And also for people like me who are really lazy and can't be bothered to get the full on iron out of the cupboard and move all the things that are blocking it and get the ironing board out. This is genius. And it's also the most aesthetically pleasing iron I think I've ever seen in my life because it looks like this. Is she or is she not stunning? I think I actually decided to get this purely because of how nice this looks. I think if it was black, I probably wouldn't have battered an eyelid, but I loved um, the color of it. It's even like a little steam iron. It's got like a little water section here and it comes with a little cup so you can fill it up and you can like use it as like a steam iron, not just a normal iron. Perfect for traveling, like I said, because this can so easily fit in your suitcase. You know, sometimes in the summer you've got like satin dresses or your boyfriend's got a shirt to go out for dinner and they get creased in the suitcase or like those linen materials that no matter what you do, they always crease. This is perfect to just bring with you 
you and you can just go over it and perfect for lazy people like me like I said and it also comes with a little base thing that you can set it on which I think is really good so when you're like in the middle of using it and stuff you're not going to burn stuff genius absolutely genius and then I've got what else have we got in this bag in this bag we have a little filming light actually this is technically an electrical item did forget I had this um a little light for filming because I thought when I'm trying to film like little vlog clips in the evening and it's dark and I'm trying to film like cook dinner with me this is just a nice light tiny really thin one that can just pack away easily and I can just quickly get out plug into the wall and it gives me a little bit of extra light and it also comes with loads of different filters and stuff and it also has a little tripod as well that you can attach to it just thought that'd be handy for little things like that another thing talking of handy so random but I got these which are like an adjuster for your waist and this often if you've seen my videos before you know I often struggle to find trousers that actually fit me like fit me properly they're often too big around the waist this you basically attach on and then you can like cinch the trousers in at the waist so that they actually fit you properly without having to sew anything you just like clip these on which I thought was genius and these were literally like 30p so can I go wrong with that absolutely not I did actually also get another summer hat I don't know why I got this at this time of year but I love this so much I couldn't resist I saw a lot of people wearing um hats like this this summer and I absolutely loved them um I would never have normally picked them but I've seen them on other people and they look amazing it's just this really cool straw hat thing so I thought I would get that and then I also got another pair of shoes I got some wellies because I needed another pair of wellies and I actually really like the look of these they're just some black um little short wellies um they've got this like black and white logo on that says sport look like this they feel like a really nice material actually and I got them again in a size 38 which is my normal size they fit really well just thought these are really practical for the muddy dog walks and things like that I've got a pair of wellies here but I don't have them in Cornwall so these are going to come down to Cornwall with me and it now means I've got a nice pair of wellies for down there which I thought was perfect and then lastly I just got two clothing items because like I said I felt like I really needed to test out and like Felt like I should take them for the team and test out some clothing. So first up, I got this, which is so random. Uh, looks so bizarre, but it's like this little knitted, love the colour. Like, you put it on, you can fold the neck down, and you like put it on over blazers and stuff. I've never seen anything like this, but I thought this was so cool. And then it's got like um, a split here. So it like goes over like this, and then it like splits where your arms go. I thought this was so cool just adds a little bit of something to an outfit makes it look a little bit more autumnal also adds a layer of warmth but it looks really really cool and then lastly i got this because they do have a dupe of the molly may zara leather jacket on teamy but i've already got one very similar but i don't have one like this so i decided to get this one to try it out um it's like a gilet version i picked this up in a large and it is quite big on me so i kind of do wish i sized down because it's like a nice oversized fit anyway but it's like this gilet oversized giving like the molly may zara leather jacket dupe but like a gilet version and this is what the label looks like does that look familiar? I just thought this was so cool. And like I said, they do have like the cropped version of this and the long line one like the Zara ones, but I already have them. So I didn't think there was much point in me getting them. But the gilet, I thought we could try. I'm just gonna try it on for you now quickly so you can see. Do you see what I mean? It is a little bit too big for me. It's even got the annoying buckle that the Zara one has. Is that a good dupe or is that a good dupe? And then, yeah, this I just thought could look really cool because basically I saw this Instagram reel of this girl the other day wearing like a denim gelée, which I would never normally pick and it actually looked really good on her. And then it made me want a leather one. The only thing is the sleeves are a little bit big because like I said, I got it in a size too big. But look at how cool. I still feel like I can make it work, like an oversized look. And it's a really good material as well because I've not really heard much about Timu clothing. Didn't really know how good it would be and what it'd be like, but it's actually so good. Like this feels such good quality and I am so pleased with it. And that is everything I got from Timu. Let me just move this out of the way for the outro. But yeah, that is everything I got from Timu. I am so excited. I'm so excited to try out like the massage gun and the air app. Like I said, I'm going to kind of try them out during my like weekly vlogs and stuff. So if you want to see them, follow uh, along with my weekly vlogs for updates. I hope you'll enjoy this video. I definitely, if you guys want me to do another one, I definitely will do another one because there's so many more things I found on Timu that I think you guys are going to love. I'd love to try out, show you what they're like. So hopefully I'll do another one soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. So then I know that you've enjoyed it and I know to do another one. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. And I should see you at some point soon in another video. And don't forget as well to click the link down below and use the code and you can get to 100 pound off timu with vouchers bye